Okay, so this is a very short Q and A because we had very useful and beneficial discussions that were off the record. And so, if you want some of that, you got to come in person <laughs> um, uh, or on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But the question was about um, uh, Malava Malka, and how do you put the other one? Shabbat Malka. Yeah, Malka. Yeah. So first of all, just to just to be um, careful with our words. Okay. <laughs> Whenever someone uses the term Shabbat Hamalka, you have to know whether they're talking in Aramaic or in Hebrew, because in Hebrew, Malka means queen, and in Aramaic, Malka means king. And how do you say queen in Aramaic? Malkata. Malkata. Okay, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, the Rambam answers both questions in... Um, Hilcha Shabbos, Perak Lamed, uh, Halacha Beis, Ezehu Kavod, so a kibud. What is kibud uh, Shabbos? Zish Amru Chachamim Shemitzva Al Adam Lirchot Panav Yad of Ragla B'Chamim Be'erav Shabbos Mipnei Kavod Shabbos. Person should wash his hands, um, his face, hands, and feet in hot water on Erev Shabbos because of Kavod Shabbos. Misatef Betzitis, and he should uh, wrap himself in tzitzis. V'yoshev B'Kovid Rosh, and sit with uh, solemnity. Miyachal L'Hakpalas Pnei Hashabbos, yearning to greet. The Shabbos presence, Kamoshu or to the Greek Shabbos, Kamoshu Yote Likras Melach, like you're going to greet a king. The Chachamim Rishonim Hayu Makabsim Talmidehem Be Erev Shabbos. The early Chachamim would gather their students on Erev Shabbos. Mis Atfim Ba'Omrim, they would uh, wrap themselves and say, Bo Venetsi Likras Shabbos Hamelach. Let us go out and greet the Shabbos king. Okay, right, king. Yeah, right. Not the Shabbos queen. I think the Shabbos queen greeting thing. I think that was popularized by the Kabbalists, and that's the whole Lachadodi. You know. Um, thing um so uh, that I, I know less about by the way i'm not answering your question i'm giving you the facts from which you can answer your question because i don't i don't know the answer so that's that's one place you could look for this and he does quote a gemara in shabbos i don't i actually think it's in kofi test all right whatever we, we don't have, we don't have time to go into it now but that's one thing but then he says for um so malava malka right i think people i think people associate i don't know I think people associate it more with Oneg Shabbos uh, or with Oneg because it is eating a meal, right? So I have a theory about uh, about Malav and Malka, uh, and I'm I, I'm not I, I've never like substantiated this theory, but I'll, I'll tell you what it is. So it says um, in Halacha, hey, Mas dear Adam Shulchan of Erev Shabbos, person should, should set his table on Erev Shabbos. The Alpha Pisha Inotzarek Elul Kazais, even though he only needs a Kazais, okay. Meaning, meaning even not for an elaborate meal. B'chein master shulchan b'motzei Shabbos. You should also set your table on motzei Shabbos. Af al pish eno tzarek elel kazais. Even though you only need a kazais. K'day l'chabdo b'knisaso v'yitziaso. So that you honor Shabbos when you go in and when you go out. B'tzarek l'sakin b'eso mi b'od yom l'chabod Shabbos. And you need to prepare your house. Uh, that's talking about like cleaning and setting up and organizing stuff on um, while it's still day on Friday. Uh, for Kabbalah Shabbos, uh, and you need to have a lit candle and a set table and a bed that's made. Um, uh, and you need to have a lit candle and a set table and a bed that's made because all of these are for Kabbalah Shabbos. Now, the funny thing is, here's where the Ram is talking about Malav and Malka. He does not say that there is a chiyuv to eat a meal after Shabbos. He says that there's a chiyuv to set your table even though you only need it for, for eating. So my theory, and again, I, I'm, I'm not poskining, I'm not saying that I have any backup for this, is that the Hium of eating a malav and malka is only to actualize the reality of setting your table at the departure of Shabbos. Mm -hmm. And that's for Kabbalah Shabbos. In other words, the essence is to set your table at the departure of Shabbos for Kabbalah Shabbos. And we still need to see what that idea is. Yeah. But it wouldn't be a real table setting if you didn't like partake of it. Then it would just be like fake a fake out. So so then the eating of the thing is a real halakha, but it's only to like substantiate and to actualize the the setting from from beforehand. And um and the nafkamina might be, is there a king of, of malava malka at a table that's not yours, right? Like for example, if friends go out to eat pizza on Mote Shabbos, is that malava malka or is that just like eating your Saturday night meal? You know, like it sounds like this is a din in being masaki in the bias, you know. Uh, so uh, again, we don't have time to go into this, but these are the two sources to look into. Maybe, uh, maybe next week we can. Uh, I'll, I'll have. Actually, you know what? I can look into the. I, I have. Um, I, 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 I'm talking about healthy work-life balance and and putting our our problems on the table. I sense that I am getting towards the brink of overworking myself, so I canceled my 
my my women's shearing for next week, uh, which are not part of Yeshiva's curriculum. And that's just my own thing. And I was like, I think this is good for me. The fact that I don't want to do it, I think means that I should probably do it <laughs> and cancel. Uh, and so because uh, before I get to the point of burnout. So uh, this job is I can actually look into this topic. So uh, we'll, I'll hopefully have stuff to report okay. afterwards. Yeah. OK. This is not a product. Is uh, so, so, so the thing is, I, I, I is think so I think he's doing it right after Shabbos. I think, but it's possible that doing it on that he is doing it on Shabbos and it's not Hachana because you're doing it for Kavod Shabbos, uh -huh. which is a present uh, need. I, I actually have to look into even how this is implemented halakhically. Yeah, and yeah. In fact, yeah. Let, let's just think about it for now. We've got all the, the facts, and we could uh, try to do it uh, next week. Lean editor. Yep. Okay. Huh. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Growing up, I think. That